Well, I was sitting on the porch just below our nice tree at home, trying to think, okay, how we can feed the planet. If we do want to survive here and provide the future generations a place to live, we have to change our diets today. Hargo? Hargo. Hargo, just standard. As, exactly. Okay. Hargo Futek is the world's first commercial grasshopper farm. And grasshoppers are nature's most efficient protein source. They are healthier for humans and more sustainable to grow. Hargo started about five and a half years ago when I learned about the lack of protein or the protein challenge around the world. And then I remember the story my grandparents used to tell me when I was really young. I was, I was born in a kibbutz and they used to tell me stories from the 1950s. Uh, Israel suffered from locust swarms that ate all the crops and then they saw other Jews coming into those fields eating the grasshoppers. So from that story I learned over 35 years ago that grasshoppers are kosher and food for many. My, my grandmother was the cook of the kibbutz and my grandfather established two food companies. So you can say that nutrition, food, agriculture and industry are in my veins. So as a young boy I always wanted to establish my own company and what really motivates me is improving the health of children and families through better nutrition. We are conducting research at the Hebrew University trying to learn more about the health benefits related to grasshopper protein. We already know it, it is better digested by our body. It, improve, it can support the growth of children, improves our metabolism, reducing sugar levels and cholesterol levels, and even reducing body fat. On the other hand, this is a very sustainable protein source, about 20 times more efficient than beef reducing greenhouse gas emissions by 98.8%, reducing water consumption by 1,000 times, reducing arable land usage by 1,500 times. So if we really want to feed the population around the earth, insects are the way to do it. However, perception is a big issue, and mostly for the developed world, we believe that grasshoppers will be part of our food chain as an ingredient, not as a product on its own. Another challenge will be regulation, because Insects as food and feed regulation is still developing and the new uh, companies active in, the, in that field have a lot of challenges uh, shipping grasshoppers globally, but we, eventually we will solve that. It is crucial that we uh, change our diet because today we are used to highly processed food that is not healthy for us, it's not healthy for the environment, and even the prices that we pay do not take into consideration the impact on the environment. We see obesity, that's a result of the existing food chain. The entire food industry has to uh, change and adapt to this uh, new future that is just around the corner. Actually, I believe it should be not only vegetarian and vegan. First, when you're eating a vegetarian or vegan diet, you're killing millions of insects along the food chain, the supply chain, because if you want to grow vegetables, you have to kill the insects. Those insects just go to waste. They drop in the fields, they are dead, other animals eat them, and you are actually harming the environment. If you are farming insects, you are not harming anything. You just eat what you kill. It's much more efficient and much more sustainable than even vegetarian or vegan diets. We are here on, on the planet for a very short period of time, up to 100 years. And we can ask ourselves, okay, what do we want to leave behind? and we want to leave behind something that is significant that the future generations uh, will be able to use and enjoy and I think when you look at your career and you think what I'm going to do today think about what you will leave behind Thank you very much for speaking to us Sure, Should do we, we want the kids? Let's definitely try the grasshopper Oren, Gal, do you want to eat and eat in front of the Demonstrations He needs some help with the jar Bon appetit! Can we try one then? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Yeah. You're saying you have to film him. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Hebrew, before you, what do you, what do you say? Remove the wings. The wings too? Yeah, they get stuck in your teeth. <laughs> Some water? Very, very good. <laughs> <laughs>